Hello, everyone! Welcome back to Where Evil Lives, Striga Nona's Hut. When we left our players, or last time, uh, our players had actually entered into the hut proper. They they defeated some troll whelps, um, some troll spawn, and made their way into the Striga's hut, um, finding it bigger on the inside. This this large dining room uh, filled with the bones and bits and pieces of dined upon humanoids. They found another spectral cat uh, by the name of Rotten Peaches and managed <laughs> to, again, free, question mark, said cat. Um, and <laughs> then they so entered into a large L-shaped room filled with bloody linens um and within they found the source of the troll spawn a massive troll named gorfus uh and a battle ensued a battle that has gone and gone and gone and as the party has um Attempted to focus down Gorfus, a tide of troll spawn has developed in the room around them. And now they are up against still Gorfus, still standing, but also a half a dozen or more troll whelps, and the tide does not seem to be stopping. That being said, that is where we are going to jump back into the mix. We're going to immediately switch over to the battle cam. I believe when we left off, um, we left off right at the start of Gorfus's turn. Uh, I think it was after. Nope. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was after. It was yeah. like just after. Definitely not. Immediately after. Absolutely at the start of Gorfus's turn. Um, for the, I think, the third or fourth time that I've said this, I spent uh, the last week reading and rereading and re 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 reading all of the uh, rules for Where Evil Lives um, and mm -hmm. deciding which ones I liked and did not like. Uh, and once again, realized that I was running minions incorrectly. That being said, I am not going to change anything from how these minions are being run this time. But afterwards, between adventures, we'll talk about uh, some of the mistakes I made with minions and we'll go forward from there. But they be murdering us much more. Uh, they should be murdering you a, a little bit more, a little bit more. <laughs> cool. <laughs> not great. So, not, not exciting. That being said, uh, at the top of Gorfus's turn, Gorfus is going to try to refresh his crash through ability, the big stompy slam slam that he used at the very beginning. He needs a. Like that be the actual name. He needs a six. Is he on the baseboard? You got it too. No. Okay. Um, okay. Gorpus does not get that. So we're going to go back to what we were doing previously. Um, Gorpus has two claws and a bite attack. The claws are going to go to the lowest person on a D20. So Dolly, Nimdare, Guy, and Lindsay, everyone roll me a D20. Lily is safely out of reach. Actually, just Damn. barely, because you stepped back into the room. This guy has a 10-foot reach, and you're just out of reach. Um, Are you, you're raging, right? Oh, yeah. Am I? Yeah, Dolly's, Dolly's oh, raging. Yep. Dolly's definitely raging. Yep. He's mad. Oh! oh okay, so uh, a, a shot at Dolly. Hell yeah, let's see how this goes. Uh, Claw coming in at Dolly. Um, He is no longer poisoned, right? End of his turn. Yeah, he's done. Well, you, yeah, but you didn't have poison the last turn. You you poisoned him two turns in a row, and then you didn't poison him a third turn. So he's okay. free now. Uh, sure, I believe you. He's I, I honestly do not remember, so sure. All right. 
Normal attack at Dolly. A 25 to hit. So that's definitely going to hit, but because Dolly is raging, that's only going to do two slashing damage to Dolly. Um, and then we have another claw attack. Everyone roll your d20. See who gets it. I elected. D20. Oh. Yum. Yeah, got it. <laughs> oh, oh no. Scenario. You know what? It's It sucks to be the one getting the hits, but you are probably the best person to be taking them. Um, oh, and a 10 is going to miss you anyways. All right. It's, oh, it's bite time. Guy, are you throwing yourself in front of the bite? I launch myself in front of the bite. I oh, he's you. launching. I hate you so much, but Gorfus is... Uh, I throw uh, my tiny body into his mouth. Gorfus is a <laughs> seven intellect creature. He is not smart enough to not bite the thing that just jumps into his mouth. Um, so he's definitely going to try to bite me. you. Oh, that's a claw. Click the wrong thing. Sorry. Bite is a 19. Mm, damn, how you roll the same thing, but with yep. a lot worse on damage? Well, because the claw does lower damage than the bite does. Um, Artorius borks and says, uh, roll again. A disadvantage, okay. Uh, second yeah. bite. Thank you. <laughs> Look. You, <laughs> you, you. You, you don't have You don't take the new roll. It's disadvantage, so you take the first roll. <laughs> uh, that's good. <laughs> uh, let me double check just to make sure, but... <laughs> I'm pretty sure his bork imposes disadvantage, right? Yes, it, does, it is. Yeah, so it's just uh, it's just the uh, lower of the two rolls. So you I get wanted the to make sure I wasn't just about to get rocked. <laughs> oh. Force him to reroll. Because that would have put me in the dirt. Oh no, that would have. That would have left you at one, one HP. Left. Yeah, yeah. Which would shock you could survive that. I couldn't survive that. The only reason he could survive that is because Artorius fucking healed his construct ass last turn. Uh, and I'm I'm real salty about damage. it. Yeah, well, he's about to do it again, so. Mm -hmm. You know, get your salt ready. Fuck you. <laughs> get, get your salt ready. He can salt. do it a bunch. How many times can he do it? Uh, he three can do it like a day. three times a day. Shit, bitch. Yeah. And I've um, done it once. Guy and Artorius, you're up. All right. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm uh, gonna slash him. I'm gonna do the slashing. <laughs> yeah. Na now that I can't target Obama. Artorius with attacks, it's definitely um, it's definitely a problem. Uh, twenty six. That's a crit. Smash Bam. Him. Weakest crit you ever seen. <laughs> oh, Literally boy. two ones. Oh no. Well, look, it's still it's. Still I do damage. no damage. I get hit every turn. This is a great character. <laughs> <laughs> look, it's it's a character that I can't kill apparently. <laughs> So there is that. And then Artorius is going to lick my wounds. For Ooh, two he's licking. Two. It's just got like a nanite Ooh, tongue. Oh, that's just mouth. like... That was a pretty good... Uh, that's pretty good. good dog. Oh, Don't look nice at me like that. Almost, almost fully healed. Uh, Dolly, good. you're up. Uh, Gorfus seems to be lumbering about on his last legs, uh, but there there are a bevy of troll whelps. What do you want to do? Well, your rage has kept you relatively hale and hearty, but you can see most of your other allies have taken a beating. So if I move... What's within with the vicinity of him that I won't get attacked for moving? Uh, right. There's no one immediately next to you except for Gorfus. So you won't take any attacks from anything else, um, depending on where you're moving. Like if I move here, you sure. can't get there. I can't get there. I, okay. I, I'll say, I'll say, right. Like you and that troll whelp were kind of like fighting back and forth, right? Um, around that corner at each other. You actually like, um, uh, he was taking attacks at you. I'll say. You can try to either squeeze past or, like, roll through. So you can either do an athletics check or an acrobatics check. We'll say the DC's 15. If you can beat that, then you can just move there without issue. If not, then Gorfus is too much in the way for you to actually kind of, like, move to that spot. And that's that not fair? like a... Not an action or anything you... like that. It's just a quick check. Yeah, I'll do that. What do I roll? Uh, athletics yeah. or acrobatics, whichever you prefer. Um, You're raging, so probably athletics, because you'll have advantage on that. I don't know where I'm at. Where's on the book, yep. 
Hmm. Make me pet this cat. Both mm. these cats. Mm. Athletics, is that what you said? Yeah. Yep. But I don't click this. Yes, you do click that because you're raging. Oh, 23. Yeah, absolutely. You can move there. Ooh, she okay. paces their way through. Yeah. Pours my way through. And then I take my torch and stab the troll up. Okay, right. absolutely. Dolly's clearing out minions. Severely deprived. Minion Get out of here. <laughs> Oh, sorry. My brain, I got a brain fart. Thank you very much for the roll a d20? Uh, Are Yeah, just roll a d20. No. Or you, you can click any of your regular attacks. That's also fine. Ooh, a five is not going to do it, unfortunately. Um, Damn. You, oh. you, you managed to, like... You know, like shove your way into this space, um, past the corner. Uh, but the troll whelp sees you coming, kind of like turns to face you and gets all dodgy. Dodgy. All right. Um, anything else for your turn, or are you gonna stay right there? I'm staying there. Lindsay, you're up, and you are surrounded by troll whel whelps, and they have been beating your ass. Uh huh. Um. Are, do they, uh, they, uh, just to confirm this, do they not get opportunity attack? Uh, they will in the future. Right now we are playing it as we have been playing it, uh, so right now they do not get opportunity attacks. Because this is very important, I'm going to take advantage of that. Yeah, absolutely. That's okay. intended. Well, because I am considered a small creature, I'll just dodge through them. I'll just zip zop under their legs all I the way out here. I don't. I think that that actually works for all small creatures. I think that's exclusively a. Isn't that exclusively a halfling thing, or is it? Hey, a, I'm a halfling. Are you a halfling? It's a specific a brand of halfling, isn't is it? Is it? Oh, I don't know. It might be. I don't even know what brand of halfling I am. Well, uh, I, look, it, I am a ghost wise. Uh, halfling ghost wise. Uh, halfling nimbleness. They got that. Yay! Okay, you do right. it. You dodge and through. I got the thing. He zips up. All right. Hell and yeah. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, okay. Before you do anything, I will say that is out of Gorfus's oh, shit. Right. attack range. Uh, no, I, I don't want to... Because you'd, been, do you'd been dodging one square away previously to yeah. be able to shoot at him, but that's two away now. That is out of his range. Right. Yep, yep, yep. You're right. That's reach E. You could be like, you could zap down here. Mm. That's not without his range. You could squeeze like through your friends, basically, and then. Yeah, I, yeah. I could also uh, probably squeeze uh, this way as well. Yeah, up and to the left. Yeah. Yeah, both would be and acceptable. I'll do that, especially since Lily's kind of. Uh... Sure. Gotcha. Uh, give give them something else to hit. Okay, and here I will. Produce flame? Produce flame. Question mark? Yeah, produce flame at the troll. 16? Uh, at at Gorfus, at the big guy? 16 yeah. hits. Ooh. AC is okay. 15. Whatever. The tiniest, itty bitty, babyest of fucking damage. Singes, One fire. Singes a little bit of his hair. <laughs> God bless it. Oh, key dokey. Nim there. Uh, well, hold on a second. Um, Motherfucker! Let us Why use a bonus. Well, I can't because that was, uh, was you can't a do a cantrip and a spell in this, game, right? Mm -hmm. Can you do a cantrip and a spell in the same turn? Uh, yeah, absolutely. If one's an action, and one's a bonus action. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Okay. Well, then in that case, I will healing word, uh, Lily. Oh, okay, Lily, and she will be healed. Wait, 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 wait. Before you make that Ooh. well, that yep. actually helps. I mean, I mean... I, the, <laughs> I like I can... how you're all like, wait, 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 wait. Oh, well, well no, I'm, I'll I'm take that. I got 20 of 36. So I, I, like, if anybody else needs it, I'm like, okay well, with it. Well, uh, look, uh, the, one of the reasons I'm... Well, I guess... Uh, actually, yeah, if that's the case, I could... Uh, 
because I know Mitch is hurting real bad. Yeah, like Mitch if, is if, actually if it makes more sense. Um, Mitch is actually fine right now. It's it's yeah. Nimdar I, I and Lindsay that are the lowest. Uh, uh, Nimdar and Lindsay. Okay. I'm seven HP. Oh, actually, here, I could take the seven and then I can roll the D eight plus five for you. So I will take the seven. Did it plus did, did, did seven. do it? word myself. And Mitch then... is struggling, guy is fine. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so five plus five, so ten. Oh, ten to them there. Nice. Yep. Ten to them there. Seven to me. Oh yeah. In turn. All and right. Running out of spell slots. Fantabulous. Um. Uh, mm hmm. Another fucker. Yeah. Okay. Uh, troll, 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 troll. Troll. Bro, did I just get skipped? Troll. Did you just get skipped? You, you got just skipped. skipped me. I skipped you. Dude, <laughs> just then. Dude, sorry. This is some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, bro. What the yeah, fuck bro. is wrong with you, Jeremy? Why are you like this? Do it. It doesn't count. It doesn't count as reprimand unless you do it in character. Yeah. Uh, bro. Hey, hey, Nimdar, it's your turn. Oh, okay. Ozzy, it's my turn, everyone. Woo! Um, I'm gonna... Poison stab him. Head poison stab. Okie dokie. And poison stab. Poison stab. Damn it. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, that's damage. Oh, roll your, roll your, your con save, sir. Con save. Roll that con save. Okay, he finally oh, is not poisoned. Gotcha. Um, Nimdare, roll me a medicine check. Um, normal medicine. That's an eight. Yeah, okay. That's an eight. Uh, you stab the shit out of this troll. Um, yeah. like and the, shit. the shit out of this troll, and he lumbers. Looks like he's gonna fall for a second, and then. Oh, and looks like he's real mad. Fire. We need we need fire. Anything else, Nim there? If only that it. one point of fire damage came after this turn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I'm good. Uh, okay, it's troll whelp time. Oh, uh, and two more troll whelps issue forth from Gorfus's wounds. Um, okay. It's gonna be one at Lindsay, one at Dolly, two at Nimdare, and four at Guy, because he won't let me hit Artorius. Oh, man. <laughs> He's about to roll them or roll attacks. Um, okay, Lindsay, attacked. What's my AC? Oh God, this is pretty sure I hurt. hit you. My AC is fifteen. Take four damage. Uh, take Dolly, damage. attack. Huh. Nineteen. Yeah. Take two damage. Hang on, I really wish I could. Nimdare, two attacks coming your way. All right, I'm ready. Yeah, mm -hmm. one of them hits. Take four damage. Guy, oh, yeah. four attacks coming your way. <laughs> one I, hits. I think only one of those hits. Yeah, okay, take four damage. Nice. That's pretty what, good. The 17s don't hit you? 17s do no, not I hit you. I have 19. Oh, shit. I, I, should, I don't know why I'm surprised. I have an 18. That's not that yep, much yep, 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 different. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Lily! It's my turn! It's your turn. I finally get to attack with my you, fire arrows. You get to do the thing. All right. Hmm. So the oh, I'm, thought. I'm sorry. Um, real quick. Uh, slight, slight retcon. Not a super big retcon, but Nimdare. Hello. When Gorfus bends back up, still alive, yep. he immediately is going to use his spiteful retort because you reduced him to zero HP, but you did not kill him. So he Damn. is going to try to bite you. All right, well, retort then. I will let Guy try to jump in front of this if he can succeed on a acrobatic skill check. Otherwise, this this is going at Nimdare. You're going to let me acrobatics to eat, take the bite? 
I, I, you gotta beat a DC, we'll say 13 yeah. acrobatics to react in time. Well, he hasn't started. Okay. Well, I'm kind of gonna close my so. sheet. Uh, acrobatic. I do a flippy flip into the way. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> and I didn't I'm even Yoda. hit. It doesn't matter I'm anyway. Yoda I wasn't here gonna hit him anyways. Damn. I do jump into your mouth. <laughs> All right, yeah. Lily, Yoda. take away my fun. Okay. <laughs> you, I'm sorry. What? Um. Okay, I am going to start cleaning up the troll whelps. So I'm going oh, yeah? to attack this what? one, or I'm going to try. I, I will say, for clarification, everyone saw Gorfus basically die, but not fall down and get back up because he wasn't, oh. because he wasn't hit with the right type of damage. All right, then I will attack big guy. Like, everyone saw that. Okay, I will attack the big guy. And he goes after you. <laughs> And a 16 hit. Yay! With fire! With fire! Burn it you, with fire. You took the yeah, time to make fire, fire arrows. I Gorbis! Did. Big boy! Dies. Gorbis. Yeah. Nice. He be dead. So after, after spending an entire turn in the hallway... Away from my team. Yep. Door Back shut. To out of the way. Just like I come nope. roll into the room and I get a headshot, right? Like I just get to kill him. I'm Absolutely. One hundred percent. And okay. he does he does the kind of like over the top like horror movie thing where like you hit him in the head and it's a flaming arrow and it's like the arrow part on fire just into the head and you're like, Oh, that's weird. Oh, weird. And then he his like brain burns apart and the whole troll starts to melt as if like hitting him with that last bit of fire just incinerates his entire body <laughs> very disgusting yeah. very very like 80s graphic you horror vision. movie where you're I melting know. War, war crimes man. War, war crimes and I mean, board breaker yes so that was my question do all of these guys still stand oh they don't yes die when they're... Oh, they sorry. do not uh, all right. In I fact, support... they all start screaming, and I don't think any of you speak. Does anyone speak giant? I mean, give yeah. me a day. Give me a day. Roll me an oh, insight, I Lily. No, I said my game thing again. I'm not very insightful. A uh, nine. They all start yelling something in a language you don't understand. They seem very excited, but you don't know about what. <laughs> oh, no. All right. And the blood that is now pooling isn't turning into more of these guys, right? This isn't like a Zelda boss that becomes more. No, he, he his his days of spawning more whelps seem to be done. The entire body just kind of like melts. All right. Hold Horde breakering this guy. Oh, Hell yeah. Oh, I was thinking cow. Looks like Dalmatian. Deal. 16 yeah. hits. He dies. Woohoo. Woo. All right. Corpus well, is dead. Things. Guy and Artorius, you are surrounded by whelps. And they seem very excited. We lay about. He lays about. However, I take disadvantage and I firebolt one of them. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, damn. That failed. Seven is not going to do it. Artorius bites one. He goes, rah. How's it go? Six is not going to do it. Bites my own leg. I mean, roll, roll the, confirm the critical. Like I said, bites my own leg. Come I on, don't. Do more I don't think he bites Jeremy your own leg, but I do think what I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself a brief reprieve, and I'm gonna say, as he extends out to try to make an attack against these one of these whelps, he is kind of like caught off guard and a little out of your range to defend. So a troll whelp whelp is gonna use a reaction to try to hit him specifically. Oh, okay. 
So I just want to hit my dog. That's I just want to. I just want to hit your yeah, dog. <laughs> your dog takes four yeah, damage. Sit down. No, I don't oh, sit down. Oh, hit that dog. Can I hit that dog? Oh, oh, shit. Dolly, the big troll's <laughs> dead, but there's a bunch of little trolls that need walloping with a a fucking Ding torch. Dong, the troll is. Yeah, so I'm gonna move forward mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and stab that troll with a the torch that I have. Do it up. Roll me that d20. Oh, yeah, the 12's definitely going to do it. Smack that troll whelp over the head. He dies in a fiery conflagration. Smack my whelp up. Hell yes. Anything else for your turn? Do I get a bonus action or no? You do have your bonus action. Um, What do you want to try to do with it? Can I stab another troll? Nope. Or is that not a thing? Uh, that's on that's special ability on specific things. So, but I will let you curmudgeon or mess around if you come up with a cool idea for your bonus action. Nah, I'm good. You sure? I really don't know what this poss the possibility is. I'm good. Well, I, I, I would say you just tell me something that you think is cool other than smacking him, and we'll probably try it. Like, can I push him and he falls in the fire? Uh, that's typically an action, but what I would say is is what you could do is you could try to make, like, uh, a, a check to position yourself or something like that, or, like, okay. a situation where you're, like, you know, um, you could slide through the puddle of Gorfus's kind of, like, goop. And try to knock one of the trolls off I'm balance that's attacking you. guy oh. or or stuff like that, right? Like so trying to move away from things that are actual actions, right? That people would normally take, and then more like swinging from the the chandelier style stuff. He X getting in trouble. He getting shirted. Yeah, I, I I think I'm, I was a little too distracted by PX, so I think I would pass Sorry. and move on to other people. The <laughs> no worries. No worries. Well, ever Zach seen for... explain that to me. Hey, we'll, we'll circle back <laughs> around. Yeah, no worries. Lindsay, you're up. He's like, no, I refuse to be shirted. Run. P uh, PX let's... is the true troll. <laughs> he is. Uh, well, let us continue with the fire base attacking, so I will just Move. produce flame at the nearest no. whelp. No poop punch. Whelp. He doesn't have his collar on, so I couldn't that's, just grab him. That's a dead whelp. Produce flame. I, I like to think like these that one that whelp uh, along with the one right next to him is right in front of the fireplace. So your produce mm -hmm, flame mm -hmm. kind of like flares up bigger as it draws the embers out of the fireplace and just whoosh, washes over this guy. So there's this little torrent of flame that shoots out of the fireplace and just fully nice. engulfs that whelp. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the whelps seem no less excited by the fact that Gorfus is dead. Um, they're still fighting you, but they are also celebrating as they're fighting you. Um. And it's down there. Uh, it's, it's me. I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm new there. And... It's his... his mm, dum, 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 dum. Um, this is definitely um, a Corbin, my man. I have no fire. Corbin, I've got fire. I've been holding in my mouth like Zoro. What oh, are you right, about? I forgot about that. That's damn right. That's true. How dare you I now take it out of my mouth Zorro. like Zoro. <laughs> Do you have, does does Nimdare have any facial hair or anything like that? No, I'm a drow. Okay, I was gonna say not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> We don't do that. Turf torch attack. Torch, torch attack. attack. Get torch a. Yeah, that'll right, work. Enjoy your, who who enjoy are you hitting? Your right or down? The one, below, the one below me. One below. Dead. All right. And then I shift over here so he can't attack him efficaciously. The, efficiently. The, the whelps are starting to get a little concerned now. They they were very celebratory when Gorfus went down. But uh, now they're they're seemingly a little concerned. Um, Why were they celebratory? What? You see two of him. the whelps. Actually, I'll I'll go with only one whelp. Um, two of the whelps turn on you, Nimdare, 
The other three continue to attack Guy um, because they're direct threats. But this, you know what? We'll we'll resolve this first. Uh, two whelps against Nimdare. Fight. Nope. Miss. Fight. Yes. Four damage at Nimdare. Three Wonderful. at Guy. That's four damage at Guy. Four damage at Guy. And that's a miss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I love you, Mitch. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, this whelp up in the north bends down and starts to shovel Gorfus's goop into his mouth. And uh -oh. as he does, you see his muscles start to bulge and he starts yeah, to grow the rapidly. Oh oh, I just got a pawn to the other side of the chessboard. No, oh, stop that guy. <laughs> Lily, you're up. You see this troll consuming the remains of Gorfus and rapidly growing in size as if he's that trying is. to no, become no, 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 the no. next Gorfus. Very concerning. I'm gonna no, shoot they're him. probably grotty, bro. <laughs> I'm going to shoot him. Okay. Fire arrow. War cry. 17 will hit. That troll bent over the sludge that is Gorfus, shoveling it into his mouth, takes a fire arrow in the neck, immolates and the the next troll immediately looks over and looks like he's about to jump what? into the gorfus pile but he, oh, him he's in range of hornbreaker <laughs> he is and that's another dead troll woo, woo! guy woo! yeah you got to witness that uh disgusting display up close and personal and now realize that mm -hmm. that is probably why the trolls were celebrating. Okay. Well, I'm going to shoot the one closest to eating the goop. Okay. No goop. Uh, I miss. Uh, 15 does not miss. Uh, it's a 7 because I'm in melee shooting a ranged attack. But I'm going to give you flanking because Nimdare is right there. You're attacking this one, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll count that. Eh? All right, cool. Look, yeah, I, new there. I, I am for one damage. That's yeah, all, buddy, one fire damage. All that matters. That's I'm just one more than we need. All the ones that's tonight. All that matters. That troll dies. Artorius uh, fights out a, another one. That's a miss. Okay. All right. Dolly, you're up. Uh, only three troll whelps remain. Oh, Dolly's not here. We'll circle back around to Dolly. Okay. Lindsay, three troll whelps remain. <laughs> uh. Huh. Let's see. Um. Uh, I will do the the this one. Okay. I I will just. Produce flames in his general direction. Flames are being produced. That's 19. a dead right, troll. Dead troll. Dead troll. Dead Intern. troll. All right. We'll do Dolly as soon as she's back. Nimdare, you're up. Nimdare. I I I I go right right here, and I, I I'm up. I, I'm gonna try and push him. Into the fire. Wait, oh, is this, nice. Is this lit? Is that's lit? Uh, it's not lit, but there are. There's like a bed of coals in there. You think if you can get I him directly? That, you think if you get him directly on the coals, he'll probably burn. I do that then. Well, uh, wait. If I if I push him, it's athletics, right? Yeah, it's athletics yeah. versus his athletics. I and... I forgot that I'm actually <laughs> actually dexterous and okay. not strong. <laughs> I, it's not on fire, so I go over here and I stab them with my curved torch. Curved torch. That's a head. Enjoy being torch. dead. That's a dead troll. He's he's just using because it, it, it's just a club basically. So he's just using his because the damage doesn't matter. So all all that matters is the hit, and the hit would be the same. That's fair. Yeah. Um, one troll whelp remains. And it's now the troll whelp's turn. But it's still Dolly's turn. We wait. We we wait to let Dolly hopefully kill the last troll? Question mark? 
How's it going, guys? What's up? Hey, so, um, so I technically killed him, right? Yeah. So does that, does that mean I get credit for dealing that, that kill and blow there? Uh, yeah. Nice. Was that was card. that enough for yours? Three? Yeah, I just finished my third kill. Hey, so you finished just finished your third kill. Woo! Very nice. But I had two of those cards, so. Oh, you had two them of them? Oh, yeah. okay. Well, you know. I don't even know what I get from those, but I finished them. Uh, I think you get executioner tokens from those. Oh, hell yeah. How do you determine what your lowest skill check is? Whatever you have the lowest modifier in. Um, so which will it, probably be multiple. Which, like yeah, which will probably be multiple. Um, well, you don't have there. There aren't any constitution skills. So whatever you have right. the lowest other modifier in, you just pick an untrained skill from that. Is that weird? There's no con skills. Yes, it is weird. It's always been weird. It's pretty weird. Absolutely weird. Okay. It's certainly more weird than not. This is one of my favorites. Courage of Despair. I'd say it's one of my favorites, and I actually really like the song, um, but the title doesn't make sense to me because it really feels like a pirate song. It feels like a high seas type mm -hmm. of song. Yep. Yep, and yep, Courage yeah. of Despair just doesn't fit my headcanon for a high seas kind of like bum ba bum ba bum kind of like scenario, you know? But he says yo ho. Right? It's it's not as it's not as yo ho as I would think it would be. Yo ho. Yo ho. And a bottle of Ah More pets. More pets. Y'all are so warm. So like, I've got to figure out a way a to kill two enemies with a character that can't real doesn't have any AOE. I thought all those got changed. No, they didn't get changed. Um, you you don't have to kill them both. You have to. They deal... just have to have died. You yeah. You have to have hurt both, and they die in the same turn. So. Be more like Cassandra. Think outside the box, right? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. drop things on people. Like, push something over. You know, cause a situation yeah. where two people fall into a thing and get hurt, and then your allies finish them off, right? Like, that type of scenario. Obviously, right. like, eventually like everyone Cassandra. will come into uh -huh. spells and multi-attack and things like that. But also keep in mind, um, with minions, if you overkill them, that damage will go to the next minion. So, for mm. example... The troll whelps have 12 HP. If you did 13 HP worth of fire damage to a troll, it would carry to the next right one. Now. You know? Yeah. Still probably very difficult for you to do at the moment. No, it's but, uh, the produce is just 1d8. No no modifiers. Yeah. So, so still uh, an impossibility for that. But the idea yeah. is, again, these objectives are supposed to get you to try to think outside the box to achieve them rather than do the normal stuff like and this is not a knock or anything like that but jay mitch and zach are very used to just this is tactical D. &D. we yeah. do this thing because this is the mechanical good thing to do you know dolly do you want to kill the last troll it's your turn it's your turn <laughs> the <laughs> slow <laughs> removal of the chip uh like oh uh... Yeah, me. Um, am I allowed to crawl over this guy? Oh yeah, absolutely. He's a puddle of goop. You can just slosh through him. Okay, I'm gonna slosh through him. I'm gonna move over here in front of this troll. Oh, Tito. And then I'm gonna stab him with my torch. Do it up. Torch him. EC torch or him. AC fifteen. Ooh, a three. Damn it. Damn it! All right, last troll whelp. Look, your particular movement um, makes things. He knows he can't kill all of you on his own. 
And he's a troll whelp. He's got an intelligence of seven. He... He just wants to be the next Gorfus. He moves away from Dolly. Dolly, you get an attack of opportunity if you want to take it. Well, yeah, I'm going to take it. I okay. think. Swain. Yeah? Yeah, yep. take it. Swain. What do I do? Just you the just same thing you just did. D20? Yep. Yeah. You got, you got your torch. With my torching? Yeah, torch on. Motherfucker, you don't go away from me. Oh, uh, he got away from you. you okay. yeah, he yeah, he steps it. over and he basically dives into the puddle that is Gorfus, doing like this, like just opening his mouth, his massive like maw, and just scooping as much of Gorfus into him as he can. Um, he's going to make, he's prone on the ground. And make an eat, eat check. He's going to make an eat check. And this is going to be a constitution <laughs> skill check. Constitution based Ooh, skill constitution check. Eat check. So he is going to try to devour as much of Gorfus's remains as he can in oh, the bro. hopes, the wild hopes of a troll whelp that he will somehow instantly become the next Gorfus. It could happen. I've seen Stranger Things. Just the show. Sure. Nothing else there. Good show. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. This is not a real possibility. There's no way that this troll whelp Whoa, can... Whoa, I'm trying to suspend disbelief. There, what the there's fuck? There's no way that this troll whelp can turn into a fully-fledged Gorfus. He said fully-fledged. Read between the lines, y'all. No, oh, half-fledged. Mm -hmm. But if he consumes Jesus. enough, he could turn into a half-fledged, quarter-fledged, something like a that, Gorfus. The okay, problem, so it's my turn. <laughs> the problem is, is that the DC for this, I think, on the level of possibility, is close to impossible. So that would mean that the DC is twenty-five. He will have a plus five to this check, which means he has to roll a natural 20. If this troll rolls right. a natural 20, he's going to morph into a semi gorfus like form, and y'all are going to have to kill that thing again. I right. believe in you, Jeremy. Let's do it, G2. That's a 10. Damn. That uh, didn't happen. Uh, he eats a lot of the puddle, and you see again, right? Like his muscles start to swell, and he does start to grow pretty quickly, um, but he's still just a troll whelp. Um, Lily, you're up. I shoot him. I shoot him. <laughs> I shoot him. Uh, 15 hits. He's dead. He did dead. He did dead. And yes, before someone comes at me and be like, well, you said he was prone. She has disadvantage. No, fuck you. That's stupid. <laughs> wow, that was aggressive, Jeremy. Look, I, I hate when people do that, like, over-the-top rules luring. The idea of being prone is the concept that you have cover and you are, like, hiding and diminishing the ability for a person at range to see you. Lily is 20 feet away and angled like this can clearly see a large, you know, swath of this troll and just put an arrow in his back. That's and he's getting bigger. Stupid. If, he was, if, if Lily was like 60 feet away and he was like behind some things, maybe, you know? Unless he's a sharpshooter. Okay. Good job, out. guys. Now, shut, I will be Zach. the next Gorfitz, and I start eating the swamp. <laughs> no, I will be the next <laughs> Gorfitz. There's just this sudden player fight Why for who's going to be the next Gorfitz. some of it and all become the next Gorfitz? Well, it was definitely a race, because I think only one can be Gorfitz. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely so. only only one could consume enough to be the next Gorfitz. It's not 100%. a Highlander situation. What the hell? Yeah. Um, um, I mean... Whoever consumed the most would get the biggest and definitely just kill anything smaller than it to make sure that they didn't threaten its reign of terror. It, this isn't a benevolent passing. This is like, you know, the what's the what are like nature's things that like the babies eat each other until only one remains. It's one of those types of situations, you know. Yeah, so 
It's like on. It's like the on alien species from alien. Resident Alien. There is a yeah. moment yeah. of silence that. after the last troll whelp immolates, where there is nothing but the party's breathing to fill the room. Hey. I don't breathe. Y'all want to have a housewarming party in my house? Yes. Yes, I would uh, like to go into your house. In... Oh, this isn't the game. Oh. Okay, this isn't real. <laughs> okay. I was being like, I mean, I'm not against it. I need to know pretty far in advance so I can, like, make arrangements. <laughs> but... No, you can, make, him, you can come here one in, during the day and then drive back at night. Like, that's doable for you. No. Okay. I'm not, it I know it's doable. Yeah, I'm can... not doing that though. Can we set it up in the in the in the tent? <laughs> Hide it in the corner of a tent. Oh. I'm thinking that or underneath all the bloody rags. But that's true. Oh. Yeah. You build yeah. it up underneath the bloody rags. Your house bloody. Must have... The battle. Have it, but... The battle is won. You remain in Strigonona's hut. One. Quest objective fulfilled. You have found the source of the troll spawn and ended it. What does the party want to do now? Uh, I think we'd like to uh, hide Dolly's house and all get inside of it. Yeah, I think I think that's a fun we plan. Wanna, we want to rest in the dollhouse. Rest. The dollhouse! Nice! Yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty solid. I do not have the card for making a joke. <laughs> Just imagine if someone else had gotten the house. We wouldn't have gotten that sweet-ass dollhouse joke. Like, good job. Oh, that's true. Yeah, guy house doesn't have the same ring Yeah, the it. guy house. <laughs> <laughs> Nimdir. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh my Nimdir. goodness. All right. So, uh, right. yeah, sure. So uh, we're going to go hide in there. Oh, how do y'all want to hide the house? You're just going to bury it under some of the uh, the bloody linens? I mean, Is that's there okay any loot me. in here? Can we do well, a loot we... check? Uh, absolutely. Roll me a perception check. Uh, I or will or investigation. Either advantage. one is acceptable. I guess you didn't need it. Whatever. A 20. That's pretty good. Um, Lily, you, you start moving through the room, looking around, there are a lot of shredded pieces of clothing and miscellaneous boots, none of which are matching, and piles of questionable... You don't think trolls do like you know, like the the pellets that like owls do but you don't really have any other way to do you find like massive or large compacted things of hair and bone and stuff like that um yeah, you don't yet. find <laughs> anything that seems treasure like <laughs> until you are looking underneath <laughs> one of the piles of linen it depends on your interpretation of treasure, but you see, you find under there, splattered with blood, both of them, a shining gladius and a tower shield. Let me Google gladius. The it's, sword. It's like the short Roman swords. I, I uh, look at that necklace again. Cool. Does anybody want this? No. Oh, are there no. any nuts and bolts? Uh, I will say with your 20 perception, yeah, you're you're able to find, like, little knickknacks, little, like, pieces of metal bits and bobs, like buttons and things that would be parts of clothing or gear and stuff like that, even though you don't find a lot of gear. Um, you find those things, so add another, like, handful or, or however you're measuring that. Cool, I'll pick up, I'll pick up the gladius, and you said there's a shield? Mm-hmm. There's a tower, tower shield. There's a tower shield, but it's, big boy. it's not, it's not big though like Lindsay, uh it it looks like a tower shield that would be sized for like you and guy oh oh so it's like cobalt size is it is it cobalt sized it might be cobalt sized nimdare <laughs> 
Oh, well, I'll pick them up and say, hey, dude, does anybody want these? I don't know, is it a short sword or is it a long sword? It's a short sword. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. Gladius. I am yeah, interested. As... Oh, you're a dex guy? I thought you were... No, I'm right. oh, sorry, in the shield. Oh, okay. I'm assuming it's just a no, I, regular I'm a ass plus guy. two AC. Whatever, whatever I... Shield. Whatever I else he is, he's a he's supposed to be a smart boy. Cool. So I will divvy out. Just just the hand out okay, the glass. So... The, no, 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 the to... Where did you find those things, Keith? Right, right here, Lily. <laughs> yeah, I still haven't changed your name. I'm so <laughs> bad. I'm sorry. Oh. All right. I'll say. Hmm. Hmm. These look about kobold size, bro. And I start looking around for kobold tracks or parts. Oh, okay. Uh, roll me either a survival or perception. I will do just that with this button here. What's That's the like association of tower movie. shields and kobold? The room is full of blood and goop and little patches of fire because you guys set flame to a lot of trolls and there's a lot of bloody linen in here that's kind of just like smoldering you might yeah, want to put I that out before the whole it. room catches fire uh, yeah i'll go about putting out fire <laughs> i was imagining the whole little cobalt thing and then they're thinking about one of your other side quests no no oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm oh, thinking shit. about fire. side quests all right, well, I'll, I'll walk around looking Look at, at that photogenic gladius. pupper. It's Abby's birthday oh, today. One. She's I'm, one. I'm happy birthday, birthday Abby. Birthday. Little psychopath. Right, I feel... She looks like a psychopath. Look at her. She wow, that's rude. Like a psychopath. She's so cooey. She's not Let's as crazy as Arthur. I, for... I can't cheer from my own channel. I was going to try to cheer myself for happy birthday to Abby. <laughs> Yeah, she's right, definitely uh, no, the more no, no, chill no. one. Well, no, no, no. They're Arthur's crazy in different ways. Arthur is different like ways. wild, but like Arthur is really wild if you're giving him attention. If not, he's just chill. Mm. All wine like all the time. All okay, wine. So in the meantime. Uh, Dolly has created a little safe haven by stashing the dollhouse underneath some of these bloody linens, right? Um, uh -huh. None of the ones uh -huh. with fire smoldering around them. Um, and uh, <laughs> you, you can easily kind of like design it to where, you know, like as you're going in, the, uh, the linens will fall around the dollhouse and completely enclose it. Right, like that kind of concept. Yeah, that's righteous. I could really use a breathing. Good, good. So I believe with the dollhouse, you can designate, uh, what is it, like up to eight creatures or something like that? Yes, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, <laughs> that's on your sheet. I have to go. I, I, I gotta go read it. Did you copy pasta what he sent you? I do not copy pasta. Okay, no one knows then. I, I mean, I, 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 I got it somewhere. We will never in, know, in Jeremy. No one's ever going to know. No one's Especially ever going to know, out. except for me, who has it written down on Roscovar's treasure hoard. She says, yeah. I'm tiny living. It says, can fit up to 10 creatures inside. It takes one minute, which we can say you've already been doing. To do the ritual, designate the ten people, shrink them down, and they can all enter into the house for one hour, and that's that. So, all right, I get I in there. It get, shrinks I, us. Get, yeah, 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 it's it's a little house. It's like this fucking big, and everyone gets shrunk down. And it's not like a mansion or or anything like that. It's like a two bedroom, one bath has a living room wow. and a kitchen type house, <laughs> right? Like, like it's first. it's not like. You got it for free. Everyone what has their own room picture? type scenario. It's like a crash pad. It's like a college crash pad type scenario. I did not sign up for I did not sign a contract on the crash pad. Oh, you didn't? Well, you know. No. Well, look. <laughs> you just leave it. You just you know, void your lease, that whole scenario. It's fine. 
I mean, I'll, I'll take it. No, I'm keeping my crash pad, sir. I'm saying sell that shit for like 400 grand in America. Yeah, that's true, <laughs> that's actually. Right. <laughs> All right, everyone. Go rest. Goes boom, 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 boom. And you, you all shrink down to about that size. The size, the size of my thumb. The, the little nice. tip right there. Um, and you're, you're about this big. And the room is so massive in comparison to you that you can't see the edges. It just gets hazy and distant, right? Before you can see like all of the walls and everything like that. Is anyone concerned that we're getting small in a house where many cats live? <laughs> I can't get in. They're I too wasn't big. worried okay. until you said something. Yeah, yeah, it's okay though. I mean, Odie was looking at him when he was like, "This little Odie, yeah, like, oh, this they are, big, huh?" This, this big. He said they're that big, right? What okay, would then. you do if you found a little person this big? He would eat them. He say, "Can they pet me?" Nope. Yes. And cut your little paws. <laughs> Only other utility is consumption. I, I don't touch my paws. I, I, don't, I don't like it when you touch my paws. You don't freak out by touching his paws. No, don't touch my paws. Okay. All right. Everyone shrinks down oh, and enters into the dollhouse. And... You're small. You're small. You're, you're in the dollhouse. Um, It's furnished. There's couches there's a couch and like a love seat and a uh a, a big kind of like plushy chair in the living room there is a kitchen you could actually like make some food and just chill in there um it's it's a it's kind of two story right in that like the the uh first and second story have very low ceilings so you can go up to the second story and there's a room and then like a closet and then like uh like there's a bedroom like a closet and then like a kind of a like usable room like a storage room or an office or something like that um and then there's a master bedroom and a bath downstairs along with the the like living room kitchen area um along with a kind of like a uh under the staircase closet um and that's it artorius charges over to steal the master bedroom Oh, you charge into the master mm -hmm. bedroom, and it is barren. There's nothing in there. Mm -hmm. oh, we were muted. You could pimp out too. your house. Really? Like you could actually make that an objective can, to pimp out your house. Pimp out my house? Like, you, you could. Yeah, you could shrink down like little things. In theory, anything Ooh. that you're. I I'm gonna say this tentatively. In theory, anything that's being carried or worn is also shrunk down, preventing shenanigans of like, I'm carrying this mountain, shrink it down with me. <laughs> you know, right? Like, okay, so here's a question. Here's a, what if something is already small enough to fit in the house? Does it also get shrunk? Like, for instance, a backpack full of these. It, if, it, if it... Okay. So if you had the backpack on and they were normal B-sized, they would shrink down with you and get even smaller, right? Oh, uh, they would be little bees. They would be itty bitty bees. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So it doesn't matter if it's already small enough. So we don't have to worry about a uh, situation where we have like a, a really giant mouse that probably shouldn't be a threat, but now it's real big. Mm -hmm. Oh it's no! Willard. Like just just a generalized mouse that happens upon the house absolutely is going to be mouse sized and fuck you up. It's going to okay, be. But like, what if, as the mouse is coming here, she designates it as as an entrant? I think it has to be a willing creature. Well, no one says it's not willing. If it yeah, wants to come in, up technically to 10 it's willing. willing creatures. <laughs> okay, yeah. If it wants to come in, it's willing. If you can convince the mouse to be willing, then yes, it's perfectly fine. Otherwise, you're basically fighting a mouse shaped tarasque. Wait, so are we having a housewarming party? I'm just oh, Rask! Yes, We're you're having, having a, you're having a housewarming having party. Yes, rest. it's happening. You. Oh, you can rest. We're in our thirties. We housewarming parties. You sit and do absolutely nothing. Okay, on it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A drink. It's just okay, like I'm uh, chill on the couch and love seat, and and someone gets the chair, and like a person's on the floor, and like two people are in the kitchen making snacks, and. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. that type of thing. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Well, hey, any of you magic people, is this sword magic or is this just a normal sword? Uh, I mean, I'll ritually cast detect magic because I'm really low on slots. Sure. Okay. So uh, after ten minutes, I will see if that sword glows how, or not. How about I ritually cast identify? <laughs> oh, what, I don't have do that. That also works. <laughs> um, you ritually cast identify. You have? Can you click the identify wording? Uh, yeah. A second. It, I think it. I don't remember if it. I don't think it tells you if it's cursed. If that's what you're wondering. Just one object. You. Know, um. You get nothing back. It is non-magical item, and the identify spell, which is what I was wondering about, doesn't tell you anything unless it's magic. Um, like it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not legend lore. Basically, it doesn't give you like any sort of information about where it came from or what it is. Mm. Uh. So, so you ritually cast identify, and you get this basically like flip back of ah. This is not a magic item. And that's it. All right, well, neat. All right, I'm just going to mess with it. I'm going to try to figure out if it's just a sword or not. Okay. I do the same with the shield to see if there's anything with that. Fantabulous. Everybody can gain the benefits of a short rest. So you can roll hit dice. If you have any special abilities or things like that that refresh on a short rest, you can get those back. Um, and that is that. Okay, so if you want to roll hit dice, you're going to click this button. Okay. So if you're missing HP and you want to roll some hit dice, you can do that. Okay, so I can click it? Yeah, you just click it, and it will come up over here. And so you, you got There we are. You roll a couple. <laughs> so I click down. Hey! Hey! Go down. Jeez. Yeah. Okay, over there? Can I go up 10? Or 14? You go up 14, yes. 34, 44. And then I do it one more time. Because I only have one left. Yes. Okay. Is that bad? No. So I should make it to zero, or do I stay at one? I would just make it to zero. In this situation. So then I put seven? Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, seven. Mm-hmm. And then... Aces. Hold on. I can't math right now. It's um, 51. I want to uh, calculate a map. Okay. Guy and oh, no. Nimdare, you spend a little bit of time with the sword and shield, mm-hmm. and as far oh, as you can tell, okay. um, they're just a sword and shield. Mm-hmm. They're well made. Um, they seem to be very well cared for, right? Like whoever whoever previously what owned this i okay. these items took a lot of care of them. They're very well maintained. Um, but okay. as, what happens with the other than that, they're well, just, uh, you know, a gladius and a tower shield. Things, there are certain things that refresh on the short rest. Oh, okay. I don't think, I think rage is long. I think rage is long. I don't know if it long. changes until late, like later on. Uh, it says, it says long as well. Okay. I don't remember if superiority is short or long. I feel like it's short. I think superiority are short. Short or long? Yes, it is. Okay. Yep. Well, I might have used more of them. Can't um, believe okay. you. I don't think we would get a rest if I'm honest with you. Okay, cool. Well, it, it's uh, so it's just a short sword. I'm just gonna add a short sword to my list. Someone, please roll me a d twenty. Don't let me do it. We have my rolls all day. You do not want. A one, and you would prefer above a five. Hold on, I'm trying to use the shitty ass. No. Okay, what is it? A roll? A d20? A d20. You do not want a one, and you would prefer above a five. Sixteen. It. Woo! The house remains undiscovered for the full hour. And there is no issue as you all rest 
and tend your wounds, eat a light snack, debrief, decompress, use the potty, whatever you gotta do. Oh my god, I'd probably do that. There's there's surprisingly uh, indoor plumbing in this tiny house. What? Yeah. Ma magical indoor plumbing. No Hot idea, shower. No idea where it goes. Yeah, absolutely. You can take a shower. Rinse the, the blood and viscera off you. You know? It's great. You are muted, Mitch, and I'm very sad that you are because it sounded like or it looked like you said something good. I said sweet, but I'm not going to go in the shower because I don't want to rust. <laughs> that's pretty good. See, that's pretty good. Oh, PX. He fart. Yes. That's the that's the when you when you get so used to the oh that's that's how someone sounds when their dog farts. <laughs> that's gross. Oh, all right. So gross. An hour passes uneventfully and then Good. all of a sudden you all are forcibly like magically forcibly lifted up in the air inside the house the doors throw themselves open and you are all tossed out of the house as you are like morphing into big size and you're all just thrown from the house in this giant jumble of bodies that are normal Excellent. size. As you you reach the fun. time limit of the house. Of the Hacienda. Oh, okay. I was like, and now you're all going to roll initiative. And now, <laughs> now you fight, I don't know, something. Uh, anyways, <laughs> you're in Gorfus's chambers. You see all of the troll bodies have either melted or burned away. Nothing cool. remains of any of them. Um, and you're left here just with the bloody linens and the tent and the, the two the two uh chimneys, two fireplaces. Alright, big blood. Young blood. There's a uh, doorway as to the north. I did cast mending on Artorius to heal him up. Easy peasy. Fantastic. Uh, there's a doorway to the north, and then there is back the way you came through the dining room and the pantry. There is the way west. What do you want to do? I'd like to go back the way we came through the dining room and the pantry to the way west. I thought we wanted to go east to the east wing. Oh, but I guess we already did that because that's what we just killed. Never that, mind. We that was go west. Is that that the plan? We did oh, find we west now? um from or uh, weapons from the kobolds so maybe if we go further this way we find the rest of the kobolds wait there's a further this way oh there's a door oh there's a door to the yeah. north yeah let's go through this door guys back to the west okay <laughs> nimdare opens open the door good lord it's a long hallway oh boy this is gonna be fun this reminds me of home all right um, this reminds you of home? Is it the long hallway or is it the bodies? It's the bodies, man. All right. As you guys move through this section, a couple things real quick. See a long hall extending before you. Floor made of rotting floorboards. There's skulls, loose sheets of paper, filthy rags, and other garbage strewn about. But despite... The trash, the savory scent of meat hangs mm -hmm. in the air. There is something cooking at the end of this tunnel. Something meaty. Nimdare and Dolly, yeah. as you That's move meaty. forward, the floorboards beneath you begin to creak under your feet. Regardless of how lightly you step. And then okay. suddenly, throughout the entirety of the hallway, it it's it's snowing. There are little flecks 
of light sprinkling down from the ceiling and it it, it takes a, a moment you realize there's also little flecks of black mm. and it, they get they get in your nose and oh, no! you sneeze <laughs> And Gross. it's the reaction to the pepper that realize, makes you realize that you are being showered in salt and pepper. Hmm. Hmm, that's interesting. So, she's uh, preparing That's us. better than what I was thinking that was. <laughs> Season for taste. You had a very big reaction to that. I little... definitely <laughs> thought something else was happening. Ooh. I gotta admit, I did too. You reach the corner of the room, the or the hallway. The hallway extends far to the west. The floorboards creak beneath you. What do you want to do? Now okay. they're seasoned oh. adventurers, but I'm. Um, no, oh, God. Very good. Going. So good. Very good. Very, very good. Oh, I need man. everyone to roll me a stealth check. Uh Oh, hey, guess what? Without a trace is gone. It is. Yeah. Better roll than I not, thought. With not heavy bad, armor. really. Not bad at all. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, and um, so we made a mistake last week. I uh, I should be rolling disadvantage on my stealth. Oh yeah. Uh, I forgot that I was actually wearing armor and not just using my. Um, gotcha, gotcha. Auto gnome skin. Well, we'll auto gnome. Here's the skin. time for us to repair that mistake. Stealth. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Very nice. Fortunately, clink, 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 clink. Fortunately, this is a group check. Unfortunately, a natural one counts as two failures. <laughs> Fortunately, everyone else did very well. So that is four successes to two failures. Nimdare, you come a door in, in this there. east to west hallway. I nim dare to look. You <laughs> are covered in salt and pepper. Damn, and I'm not sure hear, if I want to push it. You hear Y'all know that was funny. Y'all best start laughing. I smiled. I guess I didn't get it. That's their song, Salt and Pepper. Ah. Salt, salt and Pepper. Ah, oh, push it. Push it. Push it. Oh, that was good. Yeah, that was good. That was good. If I was awarding inspiration, I would have given you inspiration for that, but I'm not. All right. Well, I you you guys are already getting a lot of bonuses from the objective cards. I'm not also handing out DM inspiration. I'm not messed up about it. I'm a, I am. I'm a, I'm messed up. You hear from beyond this door. Quiet humming as if the humming of an old woman relaxed in her humble abode, passing the day away, perhaps cooking a large pot of stew that without a boss, care <laughs> in the world. Uh, do we see any uh, traces of cats? You can roll me a perception check as you traverse the hallway. Oh, we're still traversing the hallway? A 20. Oh, man, You're, Lily, you are very focused on finding these cats. Um, you see no clear recent signs. You do see things that are like, hmm, maybe a cat like walked through here, but you don't see anything to indicate that they are here now. Okie dokie. 
I look left. I look right. Hallway extends. How, fair, how, how prepared does everyone look? I mean, are we expecting a fight, like, right the fuck now? I don't know. It's real like dark it's over here. Quick. It is. <laughs> Lily doesn't have a light. It's real dark over there. It is real dark. I guess right, I, I stay open with the, the door. Crew. Nimdare. Nimdare. Throws open the door. And you see beyond a number of things, which I will describe to you. But most importantly, you see hey. the Striga cool Nona. Looking. Yeah. It's very pretty. The door opens the door. into a large, spacious kitchen. The thing that hits you immediately is the smell it smells delicious it smells impossibly of all of your favorite foods at the same time Dang. spider all... leg and roast lizard absolutely Beyond what you can see are shelves fully stocked with any and all manner of food items or cooking utensils. But what you see directly before you is a almost comically oversized cauldron sitting nestled into a slightly concave fire pit in the center of the room, bubbling and steaming. You see little green bubbles popping up out of it. And just past it, an old woman, almost impossibly tall for her size, stands over the cauldron laboriously stirring it her face wrinkled like a prune her thin hair pulled into a kind of like wispy bun that shoots out behind her and she just looks at you all with the the charming smile and says oh dearies it's about time you came by for dinner. Well, what are we having? Uh, I... <laughs> well, nope. that depends entirely <laughs> on you, dearies. We've what actually like? come to make a deal. Oh. Deal, you say? Oh. What could an old woman such as I have to offer you? So, the deal would be that you go back to the mountain where you were before and quit wandering the mountain here, and we let you live. Damn, you oh, evil. Shit. <laughs> yeah. You see the corner. I have persuasion. You see the corner of her mouth. That was an intimidate. <laughs> curl up. No, yeah, that was intimidating. And up. No. And up. To bear her teeth. And up. And up. And up. Can't see what's happening so until the corner of her mouth seems to have split open wide almost up to her temples her lower jaw distends i i need lily to roll me either a persuasion check or an intimidation check look keep i didn't want to tell you this but drag left a note and this is why he left <laughs> this is why he left. <laughs> <laughs> wow he's oh, kind of shenanigans oh 10 is not 
bad. I'm 23. Almost in 23, though. But it's not I bad. Know. What are you doing, woman? The time has been off on this computer for this a damn while. Gringa looks at you, Lily, and she says, Oh, dearie. You think I'd really be down here if I had a choice in the matter? Oh. Why did you come down here? I came down here because Dura Zavanox is not here. I'm going to look at the group. Ringing any bells? What the hell is a Dura Zaganoth? I don't know what the hell that is. I'm reading notes. Okay. Does anybody have like a... Is she telling the truth check? Can I is she telling the truth this? check? Yeah, How she do you spell that? Me. I scan for truth. Uh, You could roll an insight check if you have it trained. Uh, if if anyone ha is has proficiency and in insight, they could roll it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she seems on the up and up to me. <laughs> well, I mean, she has no reason what? to lie. Do we want to go yeah, on another exactly. adventure? Why would you lie? Who's do yeah, who's doing Zaganoff, man? She kind of like tilts her head and she says, Oh, dearie. But isn't the ruined providence why your Veya is here to begin with? That sounds like a management decision. Ah. So the Treks have been sent to deal with me. Damn, she called us the Treks. That's rude. I mean, the Treks. I'm sorry. I did not mean to be inhospitable. You're correct. That was rude of me. I just, I just, the loss of Gorfus has caused me to be a bit displeased. Gorfus died like a minute and a half ago. How'd you know? Like an, oh, hour, like an hour, 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 oh, hour ago. Hour? Yeah, y'all oh, took a whole full, like, long rest in the house. I forgot, I forgot. Yeah. Okay, never mind. We took a short rest, but yes. Yeah, yeah, sorry, my bad. Oh, darn. Nimdare, as you kind of, like, sidled into the room, you see a bit more of what lays about you. You see on either side to... 15 foot tall stone ovens, massive in scale, enough to fit a Gorfus inside. All right, that's pretty big. You, you see all of the other shelves, cooking spaces. You also see, see in the southeast corner cages. Stages, okay. And one of them is not empty. Uh-oh. All right, cool. Yes, yes, dearies. Come in, come in. Be welcome. I feel welcomed. I go in. I, I am welcomed, yeah. I feel great. This is a good situation. Uh, I walk up and stand next Jesus, to Jesus, we're going up. Okay, Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> Guy and Artorius truck I am across Guy. the and I room. I my hand out. And the Striganona looks at you and smiles and she says, My, my, aren't you the bold one? He lifts... Oh a ladle up out of the pot holds it oh, towards shit. you and she says do you care for a bit of stew young one or perhaps no thank you i don't your eat. dog he's vegan oh 
<laughs> what if I told you the meat hadn't been added yet? What about like the Ar egg? Archer is just a whimper and kind of back away. <laughs> Move yourself back five feet then. <laughs> He's uh he is good. Hmm. She brings it to her own lips and blurps it down. Mm hmm. I may have outdone myself this time. Though I I think it's missing a little bit of body. A lot of euphemisms. Euphemisms? Are you gonna eat us? I don't think I'll be eating you or your pets, dear. And I have no intention of eating any of your friends. Unless they make me. Little Missy over there mentioned a deal. I take it you declined the deal. Yeah. <laughs> then we we kind of need you to like, you know, back up, man. I am amenable to negotiations, but what you ask me for is not possible. Why? No. As I said, returning to my home would be foolhardy, because that is where Durazavanox is. All right, what's... The What's Durazaganoff? It sounds like a dragon. Is it a dragon? That sounds like a draconic name to me. Nimdare, knower of things. Well, Nimdare, <laughs> knower of things. You would be correct. Boom! Another thing, no. Impressive. And I have no wish to face the ruined providence. Dope-ass name. That is a I pretty dope-ass name. Ass name isn't that it? is, yeah. Like that. <laughs> That's a pretty dope-ass name, I gotta, I gotta say. Uh. Alright, what if... Um, you want to face it with us? <laughs> Let's team up. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, but... Even with your quite formidable... <laughs> and she laughs... Powers combined with mine, oh. we would be nothing but wind against his frost. Oh, he's a. Hey, how'd you make. What was his name? Gorash? Gromash? Gorbish? Poor, poor Gorfus. Gorfus. Did you make him or did you find him? Oh, what is it to make something? Does a parent make their child who they are in the end? I pat Artorius. I, mean, I made Artorius. Hmm. Then to answer your question, I did not make Gorfus in the way that your friend made his companion. But I did make him in a way. That's confusing. Life that is confusing. often is, guy. Alright, well, I mean, like, here's the thing. We don't necessarily Shh. need you to go back to where you, you came from. You haven't said your name. Just not here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm aware. Anyway, so we just need you to not be here. And where would you have me go? I don't know, somewhere not with Gorvaganovs? So... I don't remember his name. You would believe your Veya happy enough to just shuffle me off onto some other location. Uh, that's what we were told to do, yes. 
Look, we're a group about the letter of the, the quest, all right? And the letter of the quest says, just leave the area. Hmm. And what guarantees do I have that your little teleporting castle doesn't just come to the next place I'm in and suddenly decide that now I'm a problem that needs to be dealt with in manners other than sending me to a different location? You didn't seem uh super intimidated by the threat to begin with. Why does that matter? I mean, I, I, I suppose you don't, but, like, if you kill us, don't you think they're just going to send the A-team? Like, Because if we're the I'm D -team... not super concerned by what the Vea has sent. I'm concerned by what they can send. Yeah, right, but... Yeah, but, like, if we go down, like... Don't You're... you think they're going to get the pros? Your A-team, as you said, is occupied at the moment with what not yeah we want to know you're a Zavinox. not yet anyways this really isn't too big of a deal clearly the veya will be drawn into confrontation with him eventually you need only not concern yourselves with my presence for the time being. You're, you're so blue. Why don't you return whence you came and tell them I am only a minor inconvenience, especially now that poor Gorfus lies fallen? No more troll spawn to ravage the countryside. Just a prancing cat house. I don't know. That actually does make a little bit of sense. Get him. Get him, PX. Get him. No, he's a psychopath. <laughs> he's a psychopath. <laughs> you say as you taunt him with it. No He's squatting. Gone. He's exactly. no squatting. Don't you Did you just say squatter no squatting? I said squatter no squatting. <laughs> oh, Figure squatter no squatting. Squatter that makes way no more sense. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Lindsay, <laughs> the Striga Nona says to you, yes, yes, it does. I may be an old woman, but... With my age comes experience. I understand I have been an annoyance to the Vea. I blame myself for not controlling dear Gorfus. That's on me. But now, there's nothing left to control. Surely you're... He's so heavy. Owners will see reason. Well, that was graceful. I mean, I'm cool. Like, this sounds like a good deal. What do you... Do you want to, like, give us stuff to leave? Oh, we'll leave. I want to... I, I got to review our uh, quest. Right, mission. like, because... I mean... Guy. While Striga Nona is speaking to Lindsay, your gaze cannot but help be drawn to captive purple-skinned kobold in the cages near you. Is it just the one? It's the one. What is this? The last remaining. You see her mouth words to you. I mean, it's kind of a... Um, I kind engage of a... lip reading protocol. Engage. <laughs> engage. <laughs> 
she <laughs> says silently, you can't trust her. You so like um... the power shield on your back. Um. Is it humming from the kobold? Like in reaction to the kobold? Seems like it. Huh. Okay. Um. Well, uh, I'm gonna stay silent for the moment, and as the the group is still talking, I'm just gonna kind of start pacing around, you know, just doing dog stuff, looking around, doing so, whatever. Strigonona's head whips towards you, and then Nene. <laughs> it says. Is your companion getting a little antsy? Oh, yeah, he does that a lot. Does he need a nap? And well, maybe he doesn't a meal? Sleep or eat. I require neither of those things. Thank you. And I walk one step closer to the, the cage. <laughs> the cage! Her hand. No, no hablo inglés. Out. Reach out to open the cage. Everyone, roll initiative. Well, no. <laughs> Everyone, select so, uh, their token and roll for initiative. Lily, please roll again. Sorry, I was I like removing them. I will put yours at the nineteen. I feel like we actually could have worked something three, out. Or a six or whatever. We probably could have. Yeah. I couldn't leave this thing in the cage. Yeah, no, 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 it's fine. I don't mind. I'm, I'm just as fine fighting her. It's just like, all we had to do was get some assurances she wasn't going to like hurt any more people. And she I think definitely we was good. going to hurt more people. She there definitely was, was going to hurt more of, people. At the end of the day, <laughs> she <laughs> definitely was going to hurt more people. Oh, we oh pushed her to the next town over. Like I'm down for that. Yeah, at the end of the day, like she's still evil, right? Yeah. So. The only yeah. thing that I was kind of okay with was her joining forces to right. kill a dragon. Look, this this is breaking the unspoken agreement we had where we're trying to corrupt Guy. <laughs> we're not we... corrupting Guy! Look, Let's... I really wanted her to make us all Gorfuses so we could go fight a dragon. What does everyone refer to the Veya as? Oh? Vi victory against evil anywhere how, how would we know that we're, we're in it you. i mean how would i zachary know that because i've told you <laughs> okay i have no memory wow of three 19s holy shit oh well artorius gets the same as um uh lily and guy which of you has the higher dexterity probably lily lily goes first well Lily goes poor guy and Artorius. We'll see if Lily, Lily actually goes, goes first. first. Yeah. Oh, actually, I'm 16. You have 16? It's not that bad. It's not bad. It's not bad, but it's. I don't think that's Lily's standards. Question. 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 Maybe, maybe an answer? Did he succeed? Did he succeed in opening the cage? Oh, no, he is. He, alley? he has not opened the cage. He is just next to the cage. As he moved towards within five feet of the cage... That's when Shriganona snapped, and then he no, moved no, no, no. again, and it was, it was, she's gonna throw down. Okay. So he is just there, and guy, you can see there's a, there's a padlock on this cage. There's a cobalt woman in this cage, padlocked in there. Fucking we'll see padlocking. what Padlocking. Okay. And these are ovens that are lit. Those are ovens Bad that are lit, and there's a big ass oven. fucking cauldron in the center. Okay. Striga Nona. Ah, fuck. God damn it. Um 
What's your dexterity, Lily? 17. I have. She's on. She's on. Always whisper. Whisper toggle. Advantage toggle. Um, she also rolled a 19. You have 17 dexterity. She has 16 dexterity. You go before her. <laughs> Just nice. before her. Awesome. Um, but she goes in between you, Guy, and Artorius. Lily! Okay. All right. You I... hear the Striga Nona. Scream out, all pleasantries tossed aside as Guy and Artorius wonder their way over to the prisoner that she has kept in her kitchen. And your memory is brought back to one of the first things that she said, that this stew lacks body. Mm. What do you want to do? I'm going to shoot her. You're going to shoot her? Well, I'm fucking shoot her. Shoot her. As you do. Uh, Let's fucking do it. Hunter's marker. Do I need to do that first? Mm. You should do that first. Yes, because if you hit, you'll get bonus damage. Hunter's cool. mark. Um, so Hunter's mark just goes on her. And a 12 will not do it. You okay. see you immediately, like, response, responding to her outburst realizing that this is not a woman that potentially can be reasoned with, at least not a reason that is going to be beneficial to all of you. Arrow not released. Catches it. And you see her fist grows. Oh, long taloned claws grow out of her hand. And she cracks your arrow and drops it into the cauldron. It was fire arrow. Does it hurt? <laughs> it does not. It's was it been on, on fire for the last hour? Lily. <laughs> it's been on, it, they've just been on fire the whole fucking time. That's you right. brought them to Dolly's house? Oh. On fire? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to move over here and pass my turn. You see her gaze follows you and she says, yes. I know. Yes. Closer to the right oven. Right next to the oven. Yeah. yeah, go to the oven where she's going to summon the fire elementals. You see the she Striga you Nona. Look at you all. I invite you into my home. I let you rest your weary bones. I offer you sucker and as she says that she grows in <laughs> size becoming an immensely terrifying figure is yeah, she big big she big <laughs> she looks is in there Forward. Nimdare, Dolly, and Lindsay. Nimdare! He says, I know just the thing this stew needs. A little bit of soul. Her hands whip out, and a surge of necrotic energy shoots forward in a cone. Uh oh. I need Nimdare, Dolly, and Lindsay to roll DC 15 constitution saving throws. Mm -hmm. Damn it. So close. Yeah, I did it. You're going to roll a constitution saving throw, Cassandra. Yeah. Yep. And then what your saving throws are? I don't know what that is. It says saving throws. Right up there. And you're uh, going to click constitution. Okay. Nine. Fourteen fails. Twenty succeeds. Nine fails. Yeah. yeah. A surge of necrotic energy sh shoots out as the Shriganona attempts to steal the very souls of Dolly, Nimdare, and Lindsay. Yeah. 
Nimdare and Dolly take 23 necrotic damage. What okay. well, almost dead. Uh oh. Lindsay. Uh -oh. 23 damage? Yeah. What did I L say? Lindsay takes 11. Holy cow. Dang. Welcome to the boss <laughs> of Striga Nona's hut. No, the boss wasn't the, the hut. Boss! That's hey, who knew it was going to be the Striga yeah. Nona? I, you know, you never know. You, ne mistake. you never know. All right. You never know. Guy, Artorius. You watch yeah. as your allies are hit by a coruscating flood of necrotic energy. You see, oh, like see. superhero movie, you see their very souls begin to kind of like rip and waver out of their bodies before snapping back into their beings. And the entire time, the Striganona just <laughs> blurps that energy back up into her. As that happens, you hear this kobold next to you say, Get me out! Let me fight! Hell yeah. Um, I command Artorius to force bite the padlock. Do it. Force bite the padlock. Do you stutter? Force bit. Force bite. Roll your damage. Five force damage. Padlock. Shatters. Cage. Shoves open. Cobalt leaps out. I hand them the tower shield. And I point over at Nimdar and said, I think he has your sword. She nods. Says, I am Kira. And I am in your debt. She joins the initiative. We ride! And I charge over to Stringanona. Let's fucking do this. We ride. Um, there are my, my things. Cool. Okay. Um, She's this, but like twice the size now. But big. <laughs> Uh, actually, before I charge over there... Kill Kree Kira, traitor for sure! Get out of here, Mox! Quit, quit ruining my surprise. Before I charge over, I fairy fire Striganona. Oh, shit. I'm down. Fairy fire. Okay, hold up a minute. Hold, hold up a minute. Guy, what does it look like when you fairy fire something? Um, what would it look like? What would it look like? Guys, this, because he's not like magic. He's like a fucking robot, right? Like, is it like nanite fairy fires or is it like yeah. something? He's a robot. I just envision a giant lock on symbol that just circles <laughs> them. <laughs> 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 it just kind of like faintly glows, and like it just faintly you glows see them no matter what. Hell yes! Symbol. Shriga Nona has supernatural resilience, so she does have resistance against this. Oh, oh fuck! I forgot she's really dexterous too. It's a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, she does not that. have. Dexterity as a proficient saving throw. Well, that's no. promising. Your DC is a 13. Yeah. She has a plus 3. She has yeah, to get a bad. 10 or better. And she has advantage. Oh. It's like a... Well, technically she has to get less than that. But... Oh, bad advantage. Fuck, dude. Bad advantage. That advantage, that advantage <laughs> fucked it. You see your power wash over her, that targeting reticle, do, 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 and she whoosh, lifts her hand, and the reticle shatters. Fine. I walk over and I stab her anyway. 
You're doing... Can no, you do, I don't. I was going to say, can you do fairy fire and a stab at the same time? Oh, wait, no, I can't. Duh. No, okay. no I cannot. You I close the distance anyways. Uh, yo, yeah. yeah okay. I'm y'all up in her face. Making sure. uh, I'm going to try and position myself back here. Sure. Give a better situation. Lindsay, you are... You feel a wash of energy surge past the cauldron, through the cauldron, question yep. mark, mm -hmm. over you, over Dolly next to you, and you feel a moment flash before you as your flesh withers under the necrosis that is presented to you. Withering flesh. You feel, you feel yourself, like, tugging, pulling, out of your body before shunting back in. This hag is gonna take your soul if you don't stop her. But I need that. Uh, immediately, need I'm that going to uh, wild shape, and I choose. Uh, we're gonna do uh, archer. Oh, so, not healing. Yeah. Well, I, bro. <laughs> I, I do not have the spell slots for it. I mean, I I have very few, but I'm gonna try to make them count. Yeah. Let me cast doubt in your mind. Whatever. Anyway, so <laughs> like uh, you whatever's me. I, I, that means I'm succeeding. Does. That means I'm succeeding. Yeah. It, when, when he says whatever, you've won the argument. Yep. Absolutely. Anyways, uh, so I I turn towards Dolly. And uh, with with the you know like ninjutsu Naruto shadow clone no jutsu like somatic components, I I tap her on her uh, calf, and I cast enlarge. Oh shit! He's making you big. It means oh. it makes you big. Dolly. Oh. Grows to match the size of the Striganona. Your goodness. Oh shit! I'm so big. That means that means your weapon grows to match the yep. new size. Gotcha. Very cool. Yeah. Does one d four extra damage? Um. Yeah. Pretty good. So it's just it's just more damage every turn. More damage every turn, and you're big and scary and in her <laughs> face. <laughs> Kaiju battle. Kaiju you battle. Kaiju battle. Kaiju battle. Put this fucking also, hag in the uh, fucking. I'm thinking of Kaiju battle. Are you guys watching Kaiju good. number eight? I have not. Yeah. But I've I've, I've seen it. promotions for it. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Very enjoyable. I'm gonna move over here. I'm gonna spread out so her like cone of soul soul ceiling. She's gonna have to make a choice and not get a multiple. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And uh, that is all I have for my turn. Okay. What were you saying? Okay. Nip there. Bonus action and action. At the top of your turn, you hear a shout from across the room. You hear, Drow! Give me my weapon! Yeah, Nimdar. Fine. Fine. <laughs> this motherfucker, he's like, it's not magical, but I just kind of want to keep it. I just kind of want to keep it. It was good, man. Like, I just kind of want to keep it. All right. Um... Yeah, 15, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Box planted the seed of doubt. I it's, go, there it's there. It's totally go, there. Excuse me, large deer. Five, ten, six, excuse seven, me, seven, large seven, deer. Seven. I'm not a deer. There's a difference. Well, and I, 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 I toss the the, the gladius over there. She misses it, stabs her in the neck, and she the dies. Cobalt Kira catches the gladius out of the air. And you see now. What do we see? Her standing there. And she's gonna turn into an angel. Push me in the <laughs> With Gladius and Shield in hand. Oh shit. The gayest angel I've ever seen in my life. Say what? what? <laughs> that is the gayest edit I've ever seen in my entire hey, life. Hey! Hey! <laughs> we take those here. 
we're happy with those here. Thank you very I know. much. Generally, yes. I'm just saying that that it's like really yelling. Hey, it's me, Jay. I did this. Look, look. It says leg. It That's does. Cool. It does say leg. <laughs> uh, the Cobalt Decanus Kira or Decanus. Um, as the yeah, Romans means. say, uh, has a weapon, has a shield, is ready for battle. Nimdare, it's still your turn. Great, it's still my turn. Bonus action, second wind. That doesn't, you don't take an action to toss her, her sword. I still, bonus action, second wind. Bonus action, second wind. Plus five. Never trust purple Peter, they are eater. That's fair, that's true. Hey, if you ain't purple. Five HP. That's five, five HP, HP you didn't have. I didn't, that's right. I, I'm I'm five HP healthier. Um, and I go in here. He goes in. I stab at her. He's gonna try to stab. I say yeah. Is she holding anything? Is she doing anything interesting? What's she got? She's got massive claws growing out of her fingertips. Okay, yeah, well I regret being here, but here we are. So, um, <laughs> Curve Blade. He also pops up. I'll be right back. Curve Blade. 25 will hit. Yes. Be bladed. For Be seven damage. bladed for seven damage. That's all I can do. Your blade. I say, yeah, yeah. Slices out against the string. It's my curved blade, woman. And she shouts, ah, annoying little elf, get out of here. And she woof, throws her hands up. And I need Nimdare, Guy, and Artorius to roll a DC 15 strength saving throw. And Mitch oh, has, of course, just mashed left. it. Mm -hmm. Mashed it. Absolutely. All right, let me roll for Wait, Guy. Guy gets a strength saving throw. That is a That's not going to do it. And Artorius gets a... What? Nimdare. Nothing seems to happen to you as the Striganona annoying, annoyed at your attack responds to you. But you see Guy and Artorius shoot up into the air and flip upside down. Oh, they're upside down. Uh, it's Dolly. Big Dolly. Okay, Big Dolly gonna be raging. Hell yeah. She's raging. Big uh, Dolly gonna be talk? raging. Motherfucker, what am I doing? So what do I just do? Yeah, just take that down. And let's pick a rage icon for you. Which one of these screens says rage? Yeah, pick a rage icon. Absolutely. Wait, a rage icon? You're gonna put an icon we're, on. We're we're just gonna pick one that you think this is gonna be. This means rage for Dolly. Oh, this one. You know? Okay. Yeah, Ooh, the shout! <laughs> ah! That's such okay, an appropriate rage icon. Absolutely. Ooh, she's raging. She's that raging. All day, all day. Okay, I'm gonna move over here. Kaiju battle. Like, kaiju battles are always in slow motion, right? Like, It's true. And then I'm going to... Let's see. What I've got? What are my options? Hmm. Should I do Warhammer? You should do Warhammer. Okay. Smash her I'm with gonna, the hammer! I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, since I am her size, I'm gonna mash her in the face with a Hell fucking, fucking hammer. Yeah. All right, mash her with a hammer. Okay. Oh, now I'm gonna go back and mash with the hammer. Hello, Otis. No, bum 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 hammer. Odie, I should have taken a break before this combat because I need to pee. Yeah, unless you, if you, unless okay. you want to throw your shield away. I'm gonna after so, this turn. Fucker. Does she have advantage because Mitch is flanking her? No, he's upside uh, down. Uh, oh, no. ba, 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 ba. Oh. Let's check Shriganona. I mean, he could still swing at her. I don't know if uh, being upside keeps him from flanking. I'm just checking. Uno momento. Yeah. Uno momento. Also, does that have an advantage? Or... We're, Absolutely. We're you have advantage. Roll it again. Roll it again. 
Uh, people are normal because you already rolled once. I don't, I don't know how this works. I rolled him. Yeah, because it began. Yeah! Probably. 16! I don't know. Our clawed fist catches your hand as it descends, holding Man. your strike at bay, Dolly, with an unnatural strength. She looks at you. Damn. Oh, dearie. I... I held myself at bay, but now, with this size, she licks her lips Oddly at you. Southern. He <laughs> clearly wants to eat you. And not in Damn. a satisfying kind of way. Moose is not that good. <laughs> Moose is not that good? Well, you know, look. It's a little gamey. I really don't know now, but... Anything else for your turn, Dolly? No. Kira, the Cobalt Decanus, calls out, Watch out! He's not as she seems! Do not stand close to one another! You have Octa too? Yes. Hmm. And then she runs that? over to the cauldron. Know. She sets oh, her shoulder that. against it. She needs to beat a DC 25 to push the cauldron <laughs> over onto the Striganona. Okay. She has a plus six. That's not bad. She needs a 19 or a 20. Okay, that's okay, well, less. This is an interesting... That's mm. bad. As a bold move or like a small one. Try. It's the top of the round. Let's take a five minute break. I gotta pee. Yep. In a moment. All right. Okay. Hear me. return i apologize oh my god hey mitch mm -hmm. you and guy are 10 feet up in the air upside down oh excellent that's actually exactly where we like to be so... oh yeah that's good that's okay. solid very very solid or oh, disbobotery he's also upside down Upside oh. down ass bitch. Oh boy. Oh boy. Bean. Lily! Bitch. Since your last turn, Lily. <laughs> what? Since your last turn, Lily, you witnessed the Striganona grow in size, unleash a torrent of necrotic energy against your allies, withering them. Um, the Cobalt Kira has been freed. And your allies have attacked the Striganona 
somewhat in vain, it seems. Yep. What do you want to do? I will also attack Strigonona, hopefully not in not vain. In vain. <laughs> in. A 22 will hit. Oh boy! Nine damage! Dolly! Oh, huh? The Strigonona has your, your, right, like has caught your Warhammer, your hand, as it descends, Woof! catches it, and she's, she's basically back-talking you, talking about how she'd love to have moose for her dinner. Oh, damn. And as she does, an arrow into the side of her head. But the arrow is so much smaller than her size is that she just ah looks as it as if it's an annoyance and sees Lily across the room and she says, "Oh, dear. Don't get hasty. I'll come for you." Whoa. Don't forget the hunter's mark. A uh, hunter's mark. 14 damage. Absolutely. What? I set her HP to 14. That is incorrect. Yeah, no, that's No, correct. no, we can keep no, it. That's no, 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 that, that is, good. Uh, that is not correct. N neither. God, I can't type. Jeebus. Jeebus. All right. Let's move away from the place. Anything else for your turn, Lily? Um... Somehow, I'm feeling like maybe the move toward the oven was a bad idea. The oven roars next to you. Fire. <laughs> billowing. Is there any water the in man. this kitchen? Oh, like, yeah. I see this. Absolutely. There are plenty of little, like, buckets or canisters or little, like, portions of water. Absolutely. Need a lot of water for the stew she's making. Mm. Oh, I forgot about this <laughs> too. I was against. <laughs> what are you coming at me for? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know how much water it's going to take to put out the ovens. Mm. Roland, Roland, insight or nature check for me. More water than you think you have on hand. Fantastic. Uh, no, I'm going to move back towards the door, and I'm going to open it so we can see in the hallway. Well, I can't, but somebody might be able to see in the hallway, depending on their light sources. Wonderful. Huh. At the end of your turn, Lily... Before the Striganona's turn, One way. she will use her first mythic action. Damn, yeah, mythic! I was personally worried she wouldn't use any. Yeah, me too. Let's open the ovens, shall we, dearies? <laughs> Good play, no. Lily. <laughs> we shall not. Her hands streak out. The northwest and northeast ovens slam open, and the fires within roar out. Lily. Wait. Thanks to moving away from the oven. Wait. It is only Wait. Lindsay Wait. and the overly large dolly that are going to get caught by the northwest what? oven. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. no. I no, need wait, wait. Lindsay no, 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 no. and Dolly to roll DC 15 dexterity saving throws. What is, what is that? 
I did not realize that was a stage. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, wait. I'm a halfling. I get to reroll that. Yeah. Which one? Which one the that one? might be really important. There you go. Killed it. Uh, what was the DC? 15. Damn it. Yeah, that was close, uh, Jay. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I still have my 1d4. I have two 1d4s left. You going to use them? I'm going to use one of my coins... To try and get at least two. You want at least two. At least two, here it comes. Just not one. Woo! Oh, at least two, he did it. Both Dolly and Lindsay succeed on the saving throw as the Striganona opens the oven. A surge of roaring fire shoots out of the ovens. Dolly and Lindsay, succeeding mm -hmm. on their saving throws, both take five no. fire damage. No. Why not half? I'm raging. I, I don't care about the damage. I care about the concentration check on enlarge. It is half for you. So I do two or three? Two. And okay. then there is a thunderous crash as they both take another five thunder damage as well. You take two. So, Lindsay, you take it. ten damage total, which will yep. mean your your concentration DC is ten. Dolly, yep. that's reduced down to five uh, each. Or, sorry, it's five because you saved. We're reduced down to two each, so you take four total damage. Okay. So, Lindsay, DC 10. Oh, sorry, that, was a, that was a D10, not a D20. Of course I'm not going to save that. Hold on. Woo! That was close. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. That was close. All right. So. What? Just a 1D20 is not... That's not a concentration that's check, That's not a right? concentration check. You, Yeah. But it's, still. No, you get a, more stuff out of it. Yeah, I don't know why it's, I didn't roll. Regardless, right. it's a save. A, a, an 11 is a save. Um, so, uh, Lindsay takes 10 total damage, Dolly takes Taken. 4 total damage, and it is now the Striga Nona's turn. Striga Nona! Guy is 10 feet up in the air. Hello. Hello. <laughs> she looks up at you, Guy. And Artorius. And she says, Hmm. Are we I don't there? think you'll be a fitting addition to the stew, but perhaps I can make of you a new spatula! And she streaks her claws towards you. And you see they glow with a green acidity. Oh, we don't like that. Arthur's gonna bork at her. Bork! Bork, bork! He goes, bork, bork, bork. Bork, bork, bork. Oh. Sorry. Uh, well, she, she's still going to make the corrosive claw against you. That is a 12. That is a miss. Actually, it's a disadvantage, so it's a critical failure. Yeah. So let's, Crit fail. let's slash see yourself. if she... She's not going to slash herself, but she might do something else. She doesn't do anything. She just slashed herself. She's now going to see if she recharges her soul steel. She recharges this on a five or six. All my homies hate soul steel. That's a four. She does not recharge her soul steel. And so she lashes out. Striganona, unlike Gorphus, is an intelligent enemy. She looks at Dahl and she says, Oh, dearie, how, how interesting those, those resistances. I'll get to you later. <laughs> Her claws shriek out at Nimdare. Nimdare! Nimdare! 
Nimdare. Rose of Clara and Nimdare. Sixteen. No, your eyes off. That was a miss. You can't poison me. I'm master of poison. All right. That is the Striganona's turn. It's Artorius and Guy, who are ten feet up in the air, suspended upside down. Okay. Um. Does that have any effects on me otherwise? Guess we'll just have to see. Okay. Um, she seems pretty tall. I command Artorius to bite her in the neck. Have at it. Artorius bites. Nice. 21 will hit. Get bit. Six force damage. Artorius bites the Striganona in her neck. And as he's biting her neck and holding on to her, I lunge forward and try to stab her, like on the top of her shoulder, execution style. Yeah. Ooh, like like uh, like the that one guy, like Achilles. As yeah, just ending them. Artorius <laughs> bites her. The Striganona yelps and says, ah, "Fucking mechanical mutt! All right, all of you, up!" <laughs> And she tosses her hands up into the air again. I need Dolly and Nimdare to roll me DC 15 strength cons strength saving throws. Okay. 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 I'm not oh, you rolled for me before. Gotcha. I did. I, I rolled for you while you were away. I apologize. You have advantage. On this, on a strength oh, save. It's cool. Right. It's cool. Just, you know, I walk away and suddenly I'm in the air. <laughs> suddenly I'm in the air. You know? <laughs> Here we go. As you do. Oh, I actually need to check this real quick. In a momento. Um. What? It's all the way back in the Yeah, he is. No, no. I don't know where you think you're going. Mm. Uh, I actually need a strength saving throw from Guy and Artorius as well. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Dolly saves. Nimdare does not. Nimdare is now 10 feet in the air, upside down. Nimner! Whoa! Guy! And Artorius both are now on the 20-foot ceiling upside down. Excellent. So which now I'm out of range Which of takes her. Guy out of reach of the Shriganona. Okay. That's cool. We got plans for this. I, uh... Activate my laser beam eyes and shoot a fireball at her. Hell yeah, let's do it. Wow. Oh. That's it's not going to do no, it, I my don't. friend. <laughs> Sounds about right. I am cursed this campaign. Guy and Artorius. Change your color. At the end yep, of your I, turn. I already have. I'm going to try another one. I had to do like Yeah, six. you, you got to go through several, dude. Guy and Artorius, like at the end of your yellow. turn, I need a... Dexterity saving throw from both Guy and Artorius as they come Damn. crashing down 20 Damn. feet. What the is she doing? We're not done yet, though. Fucking jerking me. people around. That's how it be. Um, So that first one is Guy? Uh, yes. That's a success. Uh, the second one is Artorius, which is a failure. Artorius takes seven damage as he slams into the ground. Uh, Guy I takes, have to find ways to hurt my dog. Takes three damage as he jostles onto Artorius. 
<laughs> his mechanical balls are crushed. His mechanical <laughs> balls are crushed. <laughs> you didn't turn off the pain receptors, my man. You didn't turn I, them I, off. I didn't have time. I forgot. Lindsay, that 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 oven that that oven just tried to incinerate you. It did. Al did not like. Uh, I'm gonna move away. In fact, I'll here. I'll hop up on the table. Right. I'll pop up over here on the table. I uh, see her, and I will launch a guiding bolt. At how many spell Shidrigo slots do you have left, Lindsay? Uh, this does not take a spell slot. This is uh, this. Yep. Yeah. Well, this, this is how many spell slots do you have left, anyways? Uh, I have one level one and one level two. Oh, okay. You got a you got a little bit left in the chamber. So I get I get two guiding bolts that don't take up spell slots, and then I've got the two spell. This class is so fucking good. Yeah, this class right? is so like, fucking. This subclass is I so good. I writ off druids. This class, this subclass is so fucking good. Twenty four hits, and I don't think. Annoyingly, I don't think that the Striganona can do anything about it. Because it's not a saving throw, it's an attack. You know what's also God damn, you like just base attack in that form is a 46. Yeah. Dear lord. So uh and damage. Yeah. Uh, uh and also a let's white chase light that. streaks across the room from the <laughs> countertop. Slams into the side of Striganona. And chasing closely behind is a Luminous Arrow. No, it's not. Oh, no, I would not play that. Please, that con please confirm that critical. No. Oh, oh, it's a nine, not a six. You're okay. All right, Nimdare, you are 10 feet in the air, <laughs> upside down. I might yeah, have to, know. like, Play a real circle of stars in <laughs> Druid, bro. What? Yeah, it's just crazy. What are you talking about? You are. are playing one. Well, I mean, we're, we're hopping from, like, you know, campaign to campaign in quick succession, but this is an awesome class. I like it. It is an awesome class. Not getting a treat. Okay, I'm 10 feet up in the air and upside down. Um... PX of the shit. <laughs> Alright. Lunging strike. I, I lunge at her. Lunge! Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. How do you lunge with nothing to put your feet on? Force of Ooh. will. Roll me a wisdom check. DC 10. Roll me force of will. Just a wisdom check. Okay. Just straight wisdom. wisdom. Because wisdom is your will. Absolutely. You will yourself to fucking lunge midair. Nothing to put your fucking feet against. Some bullshit superhero shit right here. That's right. All you have to do is believe. You just believe in the believe that believes in the believe. All right. We're kind of surrounding her. Is this at normal or is this at advantage? Unfortunately, the other people that are surrounding her are on the ground, which means you are not currently flanking her. Yeah, which means I have an advantageous angle of attack. She looks directly at you. Fair enough. Perfect blade. An 11 won't do it. All right, then. Anything else I use my free interaction to sheath my curved blade. Okay. That's it. I like how even as a fighter, God damn, no wonder strength I is not an option for you. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. Nimdare, dexterity dex. saving throw. If not dex, why exist? <laughs> because dex is also AC. Dex is also AC. <laughs> and dex. <laughs> It's a. It's yeah. also deck saving throws, which are way more common than yeah, strength saving throws. You get a throws. lot of stuff from, uh, you know, two points in decks. Dexterity saving throw, DC 13. Does that Roll do 13. it? It does it. 
Uh, you take no damage as you land down on the ground. I, I did it. The, so I'm the suspend gravity dispelled from you. All right. Wish I hadn't sheathed my sword now, but I guess it's fine. It's fine. Dolly! Big old Dolly! I'm gonna, Dolly I'm gonna Lolly! Move, I'm going to move right here. Wait, is that away from her? Is nope. That bad? It seems like you're still closer. Okay, you're still I'm good. Right here. I'm going to grab on this cauldron. Oh, yeah? And flip it towards her. I am going to say, Hira, the Cobalt Decanus, is already shoving on the cauldron. Her DC was 25. Since she's already pushing against it, it's going to reduce the DC from 25 to 20. You need to roll an athletics check and beat a DC 20. You have advantage, uh, so you roll advantage. twice. She, she has advantage because of a enlarge and because of raging. Okay. Oh, right. Raging. Okay, so I do an uh, athletics check? Ath athletics check. Absolutely. And I rolled twice. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh, you don't even I'm need like, to roll twice. Ro roll 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 again. To roll again just in case. Because if we get a natural 20, something else will happen. But a 25 will do it on its own. Dolly steps back, reaches, clasps her hand on the side of the giant cauldron, and shoves! Kind of taking it out of the hands of Kira, the cauldron tips. And its contents spew forth. Towards the Striganona. Striganona is going to roll a DC 20 dexterity saving throw. She can't succeed unless she rolls a natural 20. Supernatural Dude, resilience know. will not help her on this. She rolls a 9. Dolly. Ha. As the contents of the boiling stew, which is not entirely mundane in nature, spews forth onto the Striganona, I want you to roll 4d10. Wait. What do I roll? Uh, you can do either slash roll space 40 10 or you can go over on the side and you can click the dice right and you can click yeah. down at 40 10 or at d10 you can click the four okay okay 17 all right fantabulous guy and artorius damn it i did something again didn't i Unfortunately, you God are in the path of the massive spewing of this contents. But the majority of it is blocked by the Striganona's large body. So you will have advantage on this dexterity saving throw. You need to be a DC. It's lowered. Because, again, of her size and the distance, it's going to be lowered from 20 to 15. So you have advantage. You need to beat a DC 15. Woo! Woo! Yeah. 23 on Guy. Do. 17 on Artorius. Okay. So, the Striganona will take 17 damage as the bubbling contents of the cauldron are just sprayed like onto her. Guy and Artorius will both take half of that. So you will take seven damage each. Okay? okay. Sorry. Not that bad. Look, that's a decent exchange considering what you did to her. 
Is this big number Artorius' help, or is that guy's All help? I've yeah. learned from this campaign is that if there's oh, soup, we're throwing it on you. If there's soup, we're throwing <laughs> Look, that should be the thing everyone takes away from a campaign, isn't That's it? That's right. Very nice. Well, I'll take Hira. from this campaign oh. is Jeremy Hates Dog. Jeremy Hates oh, Dogs. Yeah. Jeremy, Jeremy Hates Dogs. Kira. Mm -hmm looks at Dolly and says, that's what I'm talking about! Leaps up onto the tilted cauldron and tries to stab the Striganona in her face. Gladius. <laughs> Jesus Christ, such a damn kobold. And... What's that, what's that mean? What do you mean by that? Rolls a 13. Unfortunately, it does it not succeed. She's like the tiniest thing. She's Jake's like, I'm going to flip that cauldron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm no, going to no, no. I'm offended. <laughs> I'm going to flip that cauldron. I can break Lily. these cuffs. Hop <laughs> around. We are at the 9 o'clock or the 10 o'clock we, we, we are about to finish on your turn. Fantastic. We I, of course, am going to attack her. You've seen your That's allies swarm the Striganona. You've seen attacks fly out. You've seen your allies fly up into the air, crash back down. You've seen Dolly and Kira slam the cauldron and its contents into the Striganona. The hag still bites. A 20 will hit. That is 11 damage against the Striganona. As your arrow whew, pierces past Kira's strike, which Striganona knocks aside, the arrow slams into her robust chest. She snarls, looks at you, and says... Oh, dearie, I said I'd come for you later. You see four cat legs grow out oh, of shit. the Striga Nona's what body. And with an unnatural speed, she streaks up. Past Kira, past Dolly, and into your face. And that oh, is where we will end tonight's session of Where Evil Lives. The next time we will play, we will see, see what happens as the party faces off. We're gonna off free the last cat! Against the Striga oh! You have two She's cats the left. Last you have two cat. cats there left. There we go. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> oh yeah, we only got two. We'll see you next Shoot. time. Shoot! Bye-bye, everybody. Bye! Bye! Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash the distant horizon.